Hello again, it's Vince Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery. Starting out tripping over my tongue, but I have a 12 inch by 24 inch pre-prime dry black canvas. And usually I would add an extra layer of my Artist Loft um, Color Place Onyx from Walmart semi-gloss paint mixed <laughs> to it. But right now I'm just having too much fun playing with shovelfuls of paint mixed together. And this time I'm going to use, that was the uh, Folk Art Matte Pink Neon. This is a Folk Art Multi-Surface Purple Neon. This is a color I mixed a long time ago. I have no idea what it is. But as long as it comes out neat, I'm all good with it. And I'm going to throw a little bit of metallic turquoise in there that I think started as a Hobby Lobby brand and got some iridescent pearl fine treatment to it from Golden. So I'm just going to try my hardest. I'm being called to orange. Okay, be that way. I'd like to make the shovel full go twice, but there's no way to guarantee that. didn't keep enough of my pink, which is actually okay right now because that means that I will start the next, I'm going to call them a strand, call the next, you know what, I don't want to waste that paint. Hey, <laughs> that's not cool. I'm going to grab that paint right now, put it on my edge before any more decides to come off. I'm going to use the rest of it over there on that side. Probably won't make a darn bit of difference, and I was being called to orange, so I'm going to throw some of that in there. Not sure what's going to happen. That's a Hobby Lobby Master's Touch. Is it Master's Touch? Yes, it is. Master's Touch. Yellow, orange, just like the turquoise. And I've got to clear the tip on that bottle in a minute because it's not good. And do I want, what else do I want? I don't know. I want not to dump over my torch and three other bottles at the same time and spill my whatever I have left for gold. Ha! Huh. That's what I want. I guess I do know what I want. I'm going to throw some red in there too. Because I can. The name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under the link tree link that's under the video. I want that to go over. And I want to not worry about little gaps. And I want to use the rest of it something similar. Whoop. I'm having one of those clumsy moments. Oopsie. Let's throw a little more of that in there. Try not to dump my paint over. Someday my space will come. Still not getting enough of that orange. And there is enough of it in there so that it will come out better than some of the other things I'm trying to remove. So I've told you most of the colors. If you have a question about a color, you're, you're perfectly welcome to ask me. I haven't put any Venetian blue from Masters, Modern Masters, Modern Masters, in there yet. So I'm going to do that right now. I want a little bit of that to go right over the edge. The rest of it can fall right down. I'm keeping my shovel half full and that's kind of cool. So I'm not minding my stripes. And uh, this might be just a perfect example of another way to do a super simple painting. I might put gold in between them. I'm using the torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint. 
and any cells that might want to pop out. I'm going to try not to obsess about the edges not being completely covered. I'm going to throw a bunch more yellow if I can get it out of there in that shovel. And maybe some lighter colored yellow too. Although I don't like it as much now that I see it in there. Do I want it on that end? No, I want it on this end. The precarious beginning of the shovel pours is always the bane of my existence. I'm going to try not to mind odd shapes. I think they may actually add to the overall design quite nicely. And um, my lines are somewhat straight. Not that I can't do something about that if I want to. I think these colors are similar enough so that I'm going to cheat. This paint will flow to paint. So if I add a bead of paint right there, right now, it should pull what's above it down over the edge. Not that it's going to be consistent or anything. So I'm loving the blue in there. Oh, I dumped the bottle over. I can't seem to pick it up either. I'm going to throw some turquoise in this orange. And I'm going to have to leave it to the side so I can remember to actually clear it because it's getting plugged. So I don't have any of that island blue. But I think I'm going to use this Venetian blue that has a bunch of white metallic in it. I like that white there. I think I'm going to have some more. And now that I mentioned it, I think I'm going to go for the Venetian blue too. Excuse me, the island blue for Manitas. And all of that got a little dose of neon. If I tip it, my theory is I can make it stretch further. So that's kind of cool and very simple. And um, if I do anything to it, I might be sorry. And I think what I'm going to do is use some of that neon pink right there because I can. That's the name of my first book right next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. Which this actually has unlimited possibilities, including adding a gold stripe down in between each and every one of those, and maybe a black stripe too. And I would thought I was going to resist, but I'm not. Maybe I'll go every other one for right now and make sure I like the way it looks. Just trying to follow along with the edge. Switch sides. I'm not sure I have an open black, to tell you the truth. I'm going to let this all go down over this edge, too. The nice thing about the colors in the shovel not being super mixed up like in a dirty pour is the fact that when the colors are pure, you can fix your edges pretty easily, which I happen to like, especially if I have fingerfuls of paint conveniently located on my tile. This one especially. Whoops. Don't want to turn that. This one especially is going right here. So I said I wanted some some black, but do I want black or do I want white? Now we both know. That's the Anita's white pearl, which means it'll be shimmery. I know I have a fairly steady hand, but I think that even if you don't have a completely steady hand, you should still be able to do this. So I'm thinking turquoise because I can, or should it be blue, or should it be both? I think it should be both. That's a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. This is that Venetian blue again. sort of straightened out that line. 
I'm really craving a line of this iridescent pink that I'm not sure. Whatever it was to begin with, it probably got changed with some golden iridescent pearl fine. I like that. I just got called to orange. I kind of wish it were copper. And I've... Do I? Yeah, I do. Sometimes when the tips are a little plugged, it's the perfect time to try and do a line. That came out wrong. <laughs> All right, never mind. So the only thing I'm thinking is that this color would be good right there. And then I have to decide if anything else is going on the other end. I don't even know if you can see that that far down here. I still want to put some black in just to fill in between because the black shouldn't show much different than the black background, but it will be shiny as opposed to... That's bugging me. Shiny as opposed to matte like the background. Yep, I like that. I think I'm going to do it again. Yep, I'm not hating any of that. Matter of fact, I like it so much I'm going to keep going. Very cool. I'm so happy you guys are here. There's over 90,000 of you subscribed to me. It'd be nice if more than a few hundred a day watch, but I'm happy with the wonderful comments. Those of you who do watch and comment, leave me. Thank you so much for your generous generosity. Which reminds me, I have a, a monthly drawing for those of you who contribute to help keep the studio rolling. And there's almost never more than 20 and sometimes less and maybe a few more contributors to keep, help keep me making videos and buying art supplies. And you can find the exhibition video on the end screens of any video and it'll show you whatever month's prizes are. And that's important because if you happen to be a contributor to the studio, then you will automatically be sent and be included in that month's drawing. Super simple, super cool, great colors. I'm happy you guys were here. I know it's not equal, but it doesn't have to be. It, it's got an organic quality to it. Love stripes. Great combinations of colors. Just use colors you love. I torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I get my bottles out of the way so I don't run into my painting. This will probably, when it gets dry, when it's dry, it will get a, a light coating of uh, distilled water down Liquitex gloss varnish just to seal out the areas that have matte paint on them still. Any paint that I have on my tile can fix my edges. Please give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. Please watch longer if you like what I do. It helps my standing on YouTube. Your comments help me out. If you watch when the notifications come out, you help me out a lot. Look at the link tree underneath the video for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. My Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. And the group for students is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I have over 1,600 videos. They're organized into 16 lists of 100, and, they're, and the rest are by topic. I told you about my two books. I really appreciate your... Ev Everything you guys say is really kind, and I really appreciate the morale boost. You know I do. What a dead... Oh, I forget. My recipe, my paint pouring recipe is underneath the video. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me. I do sell my artwork, and you can contact me through my email address. That's right underneath the link tree under the video. It's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery spelled out, at gmail.com. If, if you want a particular artwork... Uh, please use the hashtag and the number that are in the title of the of the video. And if you're looking at an exhibition video, I need that particular month's identifying title along with the time that you saw the thing you're interested in. There, there's a lot of those. Um, please ask questions if you want to. The community board on my YouTube channel will show you tomorrow's video, as well as Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. And I know I'm forgetting something, but it just left my brain. So I love you guys. I'm going to zoom in if I can, at least on those little cells that are, that are over here that are so cute. Cutesy, cutesy. I like them. I like them a lot. 
I'm going to put that black in there. I think I should have done that before I did this. Great stripes. I love stripes. You must have figured that out by now. So let me go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to set all that other stuff and put some black in. Cross your fingers for me. If it bleeds or dendrites or does anything else strange, it'll be okay. Yes, I did. I could put two stripes in that one, and I will. I guess that's actually three. Almost done. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I'm so glad you guys joined me. Hope you join me again. I post a video weekdays at 10 a.m. and on Friday night and Saturday night also at 10 p.m. There we go. Fini. You guys, I'll see you. I said that. I love you. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>